The Cook Inlet is really a very special resource for tidal energy. It has very fast moving water. The water has very high velocities on account of the high tidal range. It is a tremendous resource. If you look at just the anchorage area alone, it's about a 400 megawatt average annual load. And there's probably that much uh, energy in Cook Inlet if you were able to put in different power plants. Right now, it is not economically competitive because it is an emerging technology. Hydrokinetic energy industry is about two decades behind the wind energy industry. And currently, hydrokinetic technology features a number of different designs. They're still considering what the best technology is in a very harsh marine environment uh, before they go out and say, okay, this is perfect, we're gonna make 10,000 of these and the cost will come down. Perhaps there's a market for hydrokinetic energy and other renewable energy technologies in rural Alaska where energy costs are extremely high. It's probable that tidal energy is going to become a mature technology, a commercial technology in the coming decades. The question really is, what role will Alaskans play in developing this technology?